seemed like it was a really physical game from both sides. Was that something you were expecting coming in? Uh, yeah, I mean, the Big Ten is a physical game, so I think that you got to expect that every game, and you got to just, it's a contact sport, so. They were kind of taking some wax out of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it goes both ways. I think that you just got to be able to hold your own and stand your ground. Hey, Joe, when we talked yesterday, you said that defense was one area that you still want to get better at in the second quarter and the third. Came with some, some steals there. What did you? I feel like mentally, um, I knew that our team really needed to push on defense. So for me, like to hear my teammates say to me, like, we need you to get up and guard the ball. Like, we know you can do it. That really helped me and pushed me to, you know, get up on her and get in her grill. And um, that's something I want to continue to work on and get better feet at so I can do that on a more consi consistent basis. Mm, just got to keep shooting the ball. I mean, nothing you can do. You can't control your misses and makes. You just got to keep believing. And um, Coach does a really good job of helping us believe that it's going to go in. And you just got to believe in yourself and keep shooting. You know, no, I don't think so at all. I think, um, you know, we just didn't perform in that fourth quarter, but you can't look at the wins and losses, and our coaches do a great job of coming in every day and encouraging us to just keep fighting, and that's what you got to do in life. Coach Blount says all the time, like, it's never, if it doesn't go your way, and then it doesn't go your way. You just got to keep fighting, and um, there's a lot of things that we're going to learn from this season, and we're going to take, and they're going to use them next year and have a great year. Um, you got this one? Um, I don't think so. I think that um, we just weren't getting, I mean, our shots weren't falling for us. I think that we were taking the right shots. They just weren't falling. And I think that, um, I mean, I think it was more of a mental struggle than it was physical. Um, Kylie, I know uh, when you play Iowa, that'll be kind of, you have a lot of family and friends who will be there. but. Um, this was your last game at State Farm Center. Was this um, how you imagined it was going to go down? Um. You know, I just, we've been trying to stay really positive this year, and, you know, you always want to get that last win on your home court. And um, uh, not exactly the outcome that we all wanted, but, you know, I still got to play with my best friends, and that's what it's all about is enjoying the moment and just being able to play with the people you love and the people you, or play for the people you love too. So, um it's all right. I'm okay with it, and we're just going to move on. we got to go get the Iowa game. Anything else for players? Thanks. 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 Well, thank you. See you. Yeah, I think that I had to disagree with them. I think the fatigue def didn't did show up some. I, I'm not sure that they wanted to admit that, but I, I think it did, uh, especially with Tree and Alex um, battling so much inside. They looked tired in the fourth quarter. Um, and that's where you need some other players to step up. We needed Brooke to play well and Sarah Hartwell to play well and Kennedy to play well. And, and we didn't get a, enough lift from different people tonight. Um, but part of it's your mentality, too. I mean, Kylie played 39 minutes and she didn't look tired in the fourth quarter. So part of it's what you tell yourself and your fight. And, you know, I think uh, hey, we didn't tell ourselves the right things a little bit in the fourth quarter, had some players do that, and, and that hurt us tonight. Patrice got 18 touches. What can she maybe do differently when teams are going to put pressure on her like that in the post? 
Yeah, I think one thing is you left a lot of shots short. You know, just working to get get it over the front rim, especially as your body fatigues a little bit. You 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 think it's there, and, and and you end up leaving just a little bit short. And we did that as a team. We left a lot of shots short tonight, and that's you know you just got to fight mentally and, and find a way to get it over the front rim, you know, even if your legs aren't there. Um, yeah, and they did a good job of they mixed up how they guarded and, and kind of scratching, and they didn't let her feel comfortable in the post. And obviously, Hines is a big physical kid and does a really good job. And I think her just physical play and then their physical play definitely, I think, hurt us a little bit. I think there's it's physical. Them and Maryland are the two most physical teams in the Big Ten. And, you know, and I think their physical play, you know, wars down a little bit more in that fourth quarter than some other teams that we played before. Was there a point in the game that you thought uh, your team was going to be yeah, I, w I just said at halftime, we get a shot here. You know, we start playing uh, offensively. You know, we didn't play well offensively in the first half. You give yourself a shot if we can fight. And certainly in the third quarter, I felt like we certainly have a shot. And um, even going into the fourth quarter, I thought to start, we were down a couple points and, and thought if we had a good quarter, we'd have a shot. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Yes, in the back. Yeah, one thing with the ball screen offense, you don't get quite as many assists when you're coming off, but um, three is a really low number. And I, I think our guards aren't doing a great job of always seeing, you know, and we got Tree and Alex some touches, but sometimes people on the weak side are open and we need to be a little more wide-eyed and see. Um, I think three might be the lowest that we've had since I've been here. And I just don't think, and part of that was Michigan State. They're, they're good defensively. And, you know, I know they came in wanting to guard better because they didn't guard well against Minnesota. And, uh, but I, yeah, I, don't, I just don't think we saw very well. And, and part of that was Michigan State, and part of that was us. Yeah, I thought she gave us a lot of life. I was really proud of Jalen and Kylie. I thought they both played with a lot of energy and, and life. And, and I think uh, she was good and had three steals and, and created some you know, havoc for her. And, and just her quickness could make a difference for us. Yeah, that, that, that was really happy that they, they did. And, you know, um, th this community will support us when we get this going. I, I think next year we're going to have the, the best team we've had since I've been here. And I, I expect this community to come out and really support us. And they've been good. We had, you know, over 4,000 for this Pack the Farm game. And, and there's had other games where I think senior day there's 2,500, 2,700, you know, and th that's a lot of people supporting, supporting the program, you know, especially when we haven't had the wins that we'd like. Yes. Yeah, I, I was probably as frustrated as I was. In the fourth quarter, the timeout, I said, all right, hey, pinch her. Don't let her penetrate. She's going to try to take over the game here. And the next three possessions, she scored seven points. And, you know, I called another timeout, and like, was exactly what we were trying to prevent happened, which was, was frustrating. Yeah, they do have good length. Augustine's a freshman and 6'4", and Coley's, I think, 6'2", 6'3", and, and uh, Dissert House a long guard as well. Um, yeah, so, you know, I think that one thing, we're a little bit quicker, and hopefully we can our quickness can help us in, in some of that. Um, I thought Alex and Tree, they used their length well today, blocked nine shots, and they've done a great job all year uh, in that. But, um, you know, we need Kennedy to play well and Sarah Hartwell to play well and uh, as well. Yeah, she got the wind knocked out of her, you know, and uh, the kid, uh, unfortunately, yesterday in practice, she tore the ligament in her, her left hand, so both of her thumbs have issues. And uh, But she, there's no way she wasn't going to play, and uh, unfortunately, she didn't have her greatest game. But I just love her and love her attitude, and she brings the fight and the effort. And I uh, still had nine rebounds today and, and uh, had four blocks, and she does a lot for this team. I really like her mentality and her toughness. And, you know, there's a lot of kids. That even yesterday when she hurt her finger, I mean, it hurt it bad. And she was like, Alex, do you need to take, come out? And she said, no, nope, I'm all right. I'm staying in. And she just doesn't want to come off the court, which is pretty admirable. How did she? Uh... Yeah, she had a practice player, and she was reaching for like a pass and got actually got it caught in his uh, reversible jersey as she was reaching. And... So kind of similar to that first Yeah, the first one, she was just tipped the ball. And that one, she was going for it and somehow got it caught in his reversible. And so yeah, two days where we've gone really light. She's hurt her fingers. but. Yeah, you know, if, I think you, you, you got to 
focus on the process and get, getting better, you know, and, and I thought we defended well tonight, did a good job in the zone, and uh, keep getting better. Um, find a way to make shots in the fourth quarter, and you know, I was disappointed in the start of the game, you know, just our inability to make shots, and then obviously in the fourth quarter, and, you know, that's part of leading is making a shot when the team needs it to and uh, getting better at that. But, yeah, I, you know, re regroup for Iowa and see if we can play well there. Yeah, not really. I mean, I, we really, I thought we struggled to start the game. We had to know that we really believed that we could make shots against Michigan State and that hurt us. And then once we got going, I thought we were going to be fine. But um, yeah, I'm frustrated with our, our offensive efficiency in the fourth quarter. And as a coaching staff, we got to find ways to put them in better positions to, to be able to score. Anything else, Coach? Yes. Coach, talking about uh, offensive efficiency, what can you say about the lacking of rebound on the offensive end? You had 25 rebounds. Yeah, you know, I, one thing, uh, they're a good transition team, so we wanted to make sure we got back on defense. Um, so we sent three guards back. So it's really Alex and Tree, you know, the ones going to the offensive boards. And, um, you know, they didn't get a ton tonight. And I, I think our part of that was the physical play it wore us down a little bit um, and the inability to get, get offensive rebounds. All right, thanks for coming in. Great to have the class here.